In this video, I'm going to share with you how to solve whole number in division. We will do this manually. Okay? So, before we begin, I would like to uh, label the names of this whole number. The first number here is 424 divided by 32. This 424, this will be your dividend. And 32 will be your divisor. Now, in order for us to solve this uh, manually, we have to use this kind of format. 424 divided by 32 is the same as this one here. Up, okay? They are just the same. We're just using this type of format in order for us to solve it manually. Okay? Again, 424 is your dividend and 32 is your divisor. Now, the first rule is, let's begin with a single digit. 4 divided by 32, can it be? No. Because your dividend is lower than your divisor. Therefore, you cannot divide. Or, if it's, it's not equal, if it's not equal or lower your than your divisor, it cannot be. Okay? So, what should we do is, we have to add the 2. Now, 4 and 2, 42. Now, together, this two digit now is 42. 42 divided by 32, can it be? Yes, because your dividend is higher than your divisor. Therefore, we can now divide. That's the rule, okay? 42 divided by 32 is 1, okay? 1 times 32 is 32, okay? The next step is we need to subtract 42 to 32. Now, 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 minus 3 is 1. We left with the value of 10 in our dividend. 10 divided by 32, can it be? No, because 10 again is lower than 32. Therefore, we have to bring down the 4. Okay. Now we have 104. 104 divided by 32, can it be? Yes. Okay? So, 104 divided by 32, that is 3. Okay? 3 times 32 will be 96. There you go. Now, again, we have to subtract. Yeah. 4 minus 6, can it be? No. So, we have to borrow from 1. We have to borrow from 0, which we have to borrow from 1. Therefore, 1, uh, 0, to borrow here, it will become 10, and this will cancel out. Now, if we go, if the force is going back 10, this will cancel out, this becomes 9. Therefore, this becomes 14. Okay? 14 minus 6 is 8. 9 minus 9 is 0. Now, 8 divided by the door, can it be? No. Why? Because 8 is lower than 32. Therefore, 8 will become your remainder. Remainder 8. Okay? But, the answer we get from, from the calculator, if we divide 424 divided by 32, we get the answer 13.25. How did it arrive from 20.25? We will do that. Here we go. Now, let's try... See this here? That will be your dividend, 8, okay? And then divide our divisor 32. So, 8 divided by 32, can it be? No. Therefore, the rule is, if it cannot be, we have to borrow digits. But in order for us to borrow, we have to put that decimal point. And that will become 0, okay? We have to borrow a digit. We have to add digit. It's not borrowing. We have to add digit. That's the rule. But if you put the decimal point here, you have to put the decimal place up here also. And in the, in the left side, it will become 0. Okay? Now, 80 divided by 32, can it be? Yes. Okay? So what is 80 divided by 32? That is 2. Okay? 2. That is 64. Okay? 
Now we have to subtract. 0 minus 4 cannot be. So we have to borrow again. This will become 7. Then this becomes 10. 10 minus 4, that is 6. Okay? 7 minus 6, that is 1. Now, 16 divided by 32, can it be? No. So you have to put another 0 here and bring it down here. 160 divided by 32, can it be? Yes. Because your dividend is 160 is higher value than your divisor, which is only 32. Therefore, we can now divide. What is 160 divided by 32? That is 5. Okay? 5 times 32, let's do this. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay? Carry 1. 5 times 3 is 15. Plus 1 is 16. Okay? Yeah. Minus 160 minus 160 will give you 0. So, this is the point 25 and this is your answer while ago. 13 remainder 8. The 8 now, you convert the 8 with point 0.25. There you go. You will have, you will come out with 13.25. The same as the calculator. Okay? I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoy watching our, this uh, simple presentation. Please follow for more video. Thank you for watching.